Hi guys, in this video, I'm gonna be giving you the top answers to the most asked questions about YouTube advertising and how you can use those answers to really go and grow your business with YouTube advertising. The first question that we usually get asked is, well, how do YouTube ads work? Well, basically you need three or four things really to make a YouTube ads work. The first one is the viewer, the next one is the content creator. That's the first set. So basically as the viewer, you're watching the ad, fantastic. The second thing is the content creator who actually creates the content, puts it on YouTube. Now, the content creator would like to get paid. So when their channel gets to a certain point, they get enough views and subscribers, uh, they can start to get paid for the content that they put on the YouTube platform. So how do those people get paid? Well, basically those people get paid by what's called Google AdSense. Google AdSense will say, look, for so many views that you get, we'll pay you this amount. What YouTube then does is, hey, look, we have to pay our content, people who are creating content, why don't we put some ads on them? We'll get somebody else to help us pay the content people. Now to do that, this is where the Google ads come in or the YouTube ads. So this is basically the ad that you see while you're watching your content. The advertiser, like someone maybe like myself who wants to advertise or if you're a business owner or someone who wants to advertise on YouTube, you'll actually say, hey, look, I'm willing to pay this much to be able to get the result. I'm looking for a customer, I'm looking for a lead, whatever it might be. So you say, hey, look, I'm willing to pay this amount and you put that over into the uh, Google ads. Now Google Ads then splits the revenue that you know you pay usually around half with the content creator and charges you half as well. Okay, so everybody wins. Okay, the content creator gets paid for the content they put on there. As the advertiser, I am able to put my ad onto the content and the viewer is able to then come to my website and take the action that I need. So that's really like a 30,000 foot view on how YouTube ads really work. So the second question we get asked a lot is, well, how much do YouTube ads actually cost? Okay, so usually there's somewhere between you know, under half a cent of view all the way up to about 30 cents of view. Now, what's really interesting to note here is that a view on YouTube is actually classed as at least 30 seconds. What's really cool is a view is twice the length of say Facebook, which is his biggest, biggest competitor for paid traffic. So when they're saying a view on YouTube, it's a way better view than what you're gonna get anywhere else. And why is there such a range? Well, basically the more expensive industries or more competitive industries are gonna cost more. Things like medical, law, marketing, you know, is gonna be way more expensive than sort of like lipstick and e-commerce, you know, mindset, spirituality, meditation. Like there's niches that have more money in them and they're more expensive. The niches that have less money in them are less expensive. Basically at the end of the day, the number one thing you wanna track is, well, how much did it cost me to get the result that I want? And what is the return on that? What's called your return on ad spend. So for every dollar you spend, how much do you get back? And in most cases, and we always recommend this on YouTube ads, if you're running any form of YouTube advertising, for every dollar you spend, you should be getting at least $3 back or you're really doing it wrong. So the question is, how do you know if your YouTube ad campaigns are actually working? So there's only really one metric that you need to measure. So when you go into your Google Ads account, you need to be able to see this straight away. Set up your columns when you go in so you can actually see this. And the number one number that's gonna determine success, if you're successful with a YouTube ads campaign, is called return on ad spend. You must be getting a minimum three times return on ad spend for your marketing to work on YouTube. So another question we always get asked is, well, can I increase the subscribers on my YouTube channel with YouTube ads? And the short answer to that is yes. What you can do is you can definitely increase the amount of views and exposure that you're getting. Really cool tactic for this, we do this with a lot of artists and people who just want to like music artists and people who just want to grow their reach as much as possible with the content that they're creating. The strategy there is to use a content piece as an ad and put it in something really relevant around keywords. So people are watching it thinking that it's content, you get heaps more views and subscribers. And you can usually do this for like cents per view. Now, depending how good your content is, is gonna depend on how many subscribers that you get. But usually you have like paid views. And then if they watch the next video, that would be an earned view. There's a whole strategy around this. But I guess the main takeaways here are yes, you can. The way you do it is run cost per view campaigns on content in pre-roll ads to be able to get more subscribers and more views to and grow your YouTube channel. So guys, hopefully you're getting value out of this video. We do have a full free training. We're gonna show you exactly how you can get started with YouTube advertising and give you everything you need, including heaps of free bonuses and checklists and templates to get started. Uh, you click on the link below and you'll be taken straight to that. Other than that, guys, let's jump straight back into the video. So another question we get asked is, can I control who sees my YouTube ad? And absolutely you can. The targeting on YouTube is absolutely insane. It's probably superior to any other platform that you're gonna run advertising on. So a great way we do that is we always start with the three eyes of targeting, okay? Starting with what they're interested in, layering it out by how much income or household income they have, and then layering that out by intent. So what do I mean by that? Well, basically the way that you can target it is people are interested in this thing. So it might be surfing, for example. 
people are interested in surfing and you might be selling like a surfboard that's wrapped in gold or something. So you might want to target just the top 10% of income earners, okay? Because that's what you're selling, fantastic. And you might actually want to target people who are searching for Google search or something like that, showing intent, which is a third one of golden surfboards, for example, searching that in YouTube and Google search. That might be one way of doing it. But the strategy is exactly the same. Interest, income, and then intent. You want to layer those things like a funnel, be able to just drill right into the people that it is that you're wanting to show your ads to. So that's one way of doing it. There's actually 4,723 actually pre-built targeting options for you inside of the YouTube ads platform. We break those down into 10 different categories of targeting. But yes, you can definitely control who sees your ad probably better than anywhere else on the internet with YouTube advertising. Another question we get asked is, do I need a Google ads account to actually run YouTube advertising? Yes, 100% you do. Your Google ads account is literally where you're going to build all your campaigns and everything that are going to run on YouTube. Google Ads is massive. It actually covers more than just YouTube. It covers Google Search. It covers what's called the shopping network. It covers YouTube. It also covers the display network. YouTube is one massive segment of the Google Ads platform that you're going to use to run your ads. Now, what's really cool, if you haven't got a Google Ads account right now, it couldn't be easier. All you need to do is go into Google, type in, create a Google Ads account, it will pop up. Now, at the moment, at the time making this video, Google Ads is actually offering $500 US dollars back for every $500 that you spend. So you'll basically get $500 worth of free ad credit if you sign up for a Google Ads account. So they're really wanting people to use their platform at the moment. Uh, so get on that, that'd be absolutely amazing. You've got nothing to lose by getting in there and starting to create your Google Ads account and get started having a play with YouTube advertising. Another question we get asked is, do I need a YouTube channel to be able to show YouTube ads? Do I need to have a channel with, you know, heaps of views and subscribers and create content and all of that stuff? The short answer is no, you don't need to create all of that stuff. But yes, you do need to have a YouTube channel. Now you can just have uh, just a blank YouTube channel with nothing on it. Now when you upload these videos, your ads onto the YouTube, if you don't want everyone to see them, you can mark them as unlisted. So they're not public. People can't go to your YouTube channel and see these videos. They only show up when you're running them as ads. So that works really well if you have just a channel with nothing on it. So no, when they, people go there, they can't see any ads, it just looks blank, but you can then use those videos to run as ads. Or if you've got a big massive channel, but you don't want people to see what ads you're running and you wanna use that channel you know, as your actual channel to run ads on. So you can go either way. You will need a channel, you don't need to have heaps of content to be able to run YouTube ads. And we save the best to last. The question is, what makes an effective YouTube ad? Well, we usually teach that there's four main parts to an effective YouTube ad. The first one is the hook. So the hook is the thing that happens in the first five seconds of a YouTube ad. Now you might be thinking like, what does that mean? Basically, if you're on YouTube and an ad pops up and you've got five seconds to skip, what you say in those first five seconds is probably the most important thing that's gonna happen in your YouTube ad. You wanna hook them, you wanna grab their attention in some way and then lead them into the next part of the ad. Now the next part of the ad, number two, is what we call the elevator pitch. The elevator pitch basically is gonna summarize what you're gonna be covering in your ad, what it is that you offer, how that you help people, and then you're gonna be able to give them a very small mini call to action. Now we usually make the hook and the elevator pitch less than 30 seconds. The reason for that is because basically the first 30 seconds of a YouTube ad is free. So imagine if you could say your hook and your elevator pitch, if people clicked off, it didn't cost you a cent. Okay, so that's why we structure it this way and it just gets really cool results. Now, when people stay on after that fact, that's when we hit them up with the story. Now, the story is where you wanna entertain or educate them in some way. This is not your usual Facebook ad where you're just getting in front of people and interrupting them to stop the scroll. People go to YouTube to be educated or entertained in some way. So you do need to have a lot of value in your ad. It's just gonna really help your conversion rate. And then at the end of that, the fourth part, is actually the close. The other question we get asked is, well, how long should the video ad be? Definitely under three minutes, somewhere between the one and the two and a half mark seems to be working really well for us at the moment. If you follow that four part structure, you're gonna create some really cool ads. So if you'd like to see a full video on how to create an effective YouTube ad step-by-step step with some really cool free resources, make sure you check out this video here and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.